Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got a head core 99 for you today. A couple of upgrades and refreshes on the core series this year, um, which is nice. They've been, you know, been the same since their inception, so it's nice to get a little bit of a refresh on these skis. Um, gone is the choroid. In is a shaped uh, top layer of carbon. Uh, but still built from a poplar and caruba wood core uh, with two sheets of fiberglass as well as that carbon. So that top layer uh, does extend out and over towards the edges uh, in a more three-dimensional format. So adding that third dimension does give the ski more energy, more liveliness, better snap out of the tail end of the turn, um, and just, you know, more fun overall. So these definitely have that next level of pep to them. Um, which is really good news for skiers that like to get that nice energy out of their ski. Um, at 99 millimeters underfoot in the 177 centimeter length, um, this is a 170, so this is actually 97 underfoot. They do change per width per length. Uh, so keep that in mind that your, uh, the width of your ski will change if it's longer or shorter than uh, the 177 reference length uh, in, the, in the men's core models. Um, but that's it for the construction. They do have a strip of graphene that runs through the center to stiffen the ski. Um, but, you know, shape-wise, you know, 99 underfoot uh, is going to give you that just supreme versatility for both soft snow and hard snow. Um, I think the lightweight and the edge grip of these skis uh, give it more of an on-trail personality uh, versus some other 99, 100-millimeter skis that are a bit more playful. Um, the stiffness of this ski really sets it apart from other skis in this category. There really isn't much else out there that's as light and as stiff as these core skis. Uh, and that gives them a pretty unique, unique personality. Uh, very responsive, super quick, easy to use, um, but a really high-end performance ceiling as well. So as we get wider, we get more soft snow appropriate taper and rocker. Still very good positive camber underfoot, um, but we are seeing the lowering of the widest part. The taper shape of these skis um, gives you better flotation, um, smoother feel, and softer snow. Still not a ton of rocker in the shovel here, so you know that lends again to the more uh, front side your know, carving capabilities of these 99s. Uh, again, a little bit lower in the taper here than the narrower versions but a pretty similar rocker profile. So not a whole lot back here in terms of, you know, rocker for flotation or playfulness. Uh, still a little bit more business-like back here. Makes these 99s carve like uh, much, much uh, narrower skis for sure. Um, for their weight, um, since they're pretty light, uh, that added material of this width, I think makes it one of the better carvers for that shape, uh, you know, not just in the core line, but in this uh, category as a whole. Uh, I'm very impressed with these and their ability to, you know, rip GS turns on groomers. No problems whatsoever. Uh, this, is, this is the 170. We see a 15.9 meter turn radius in this. So it is on the shorter and rounder side, um, but it doesn't mean that you can't open it up and take it pretty fast. It does have those capabilities. Um, off trail, bumps and trees, the lightweight of these skis really make it maneuverable, nimble, agile, easy to make short, quick turns when you have to, um, but also has that stability and dampness thanks to the, the successful application of carbon to open it up and get you to some higher speed. So, you know, we've definitely put this ski through the paces and haven't quite found, you know, a speed limit or a weakness that, you know, is worthwhile. Uh, or, no, or noteworthy at all. These just kind of do everything really, really well, um, plus have that unique feel to them due to the lightweight and the stiff flex. Um, as a result, you know, we're putting, you know, advanced and expert skiers uh, right in the meat of this category here. Uh, that doesn't mean that a heavier or more aggressive intermediate skier who's looking for something on the wider side of all mountain uh, shouldn't keep this on their list. 
Um, but I think that that more advanced skier that knows how to, you know, utilize these edges and take advantage of the stiffness of the ski, uh, those skiers will, will be able to glean the best performance out of these. But they are accessible uh, for slower skiers, uh, more intermediate, more mellow skiers who are just looking for something light but with that high-end potential. Uh, so that's it. That's the Head Core 99. Some nice new refreshes for this year. Check this thing out at skiessentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.